Today we're going to repair a Utilitech 65 watt Dust of Dawn light. These are commonly sold at Lowe's, Home Depot. Um, they take a uh, fluorescent bulb mogul base LPL F65, 65 watt. They throw quite a bit of light in your yard and they don't use very much energy. But the problem is after a couple years, they do have a two-year warranty, but you'll find uh, they tend to, to burn out. The electronics go bad. So we're going to take a look at that and take a look at what I did. And then we're going to show you how to test the bulbs. As you can see, there's the, the base socket there in the back of the unit. And what you have to do is there are two bolts here. You just remove them. You take that out and you can see the ballast. Now the ballast is a, a electronics are made they're made pretty cheap. I think that's the flaw in the design. Uh, but what I had to replace with these two capacitors here, uh, of course they were swelled up and bad. And uh, what went bad are the transistors. Now you can see I mounted some new ones and a new heat sink. They had some really thin heat sink. Uh, they went on the board sort of like this and the transistor mounted on them. And of course after a while you can see the heat to the board over a few years. This light is a little bit uh, two years and two months old. And the board overheated, the transistors went bad, the capacitors swelled up from the heat. So uh, the replacement transistors you can uh, find easily their NTE 379 or the replacements for that. And all I did was I mounted a heat sink, I had a spare heat sink here, and I mounted it, there was actually a nice tab there and just screwed it in, mounted on the side there. I uh, ran my wires up to the power transistors, uh, plus you have to insulate them with insulators and the plastic washer because you don't want these touching the metal base, they have to be insulated from each other and I threw a little bit of epoxy on the board there and uh, you hear the cat he wants up too and uh, so anyway that insulated that and that's about it it's pretty easy to do if you have a little bit of solder experience you can repair this light you find the parts cheap enough for a couple bucks a piece it's worth it and you have an extra light or repaired light that will probably last longer than the original and you have to, whatever type of heat sink or however you mount it, it has to fit back down inside. Uh, in this case, it goes down in real, back real easy, fits. Uh, and we can put the bulb in and fire it up and uh, it should work fine. So there you go, the repaired light, and it works pretty good. Now we're going to look real quick here on how you can test these bulbs. I have one here that's broken and damaged, it doesn't work, but they're real easy to test with a meter. But you have to take them apart. You can see the uh, clip holes here. It's just a screwdriver and just gently work, work it out. Work it out. And that exposes the bottom of the bulb. Because what they did was they connected a capacitor in between. So you can test these like an ordinary fluorescent uh, with your meter. If you have a meter, I have uh, this one here is what I use. And you can do a continuity check, go to one terminal of the capacitor to the other lead on the bulb and that will tell you whether your filaments burn out. And the same with the other side because that's what usually happens, the filaments just burn out on the bulbs. Though sometimes this capacitor could fail and uh, that could cause an issue too so that would be your next step. You could actually repair the bulb if the filaments were good, you might try changing this capacitor. And snap it back in there and it will work pretty good. They make these I think throw away so for what it's worth 
you can repair them if you take a little time. 